Apparently, Deathwish Coffee is the strongest coffee in the world. I did see it on a Super Bowl commercial. I can't remember who was playing, but um, yeah, it is self-proclaimed self -proclaimed the most powerful coffee in the world, and somehow we got it in our kitchen. Somehow. We were it on Amazon that time. Yeah, Amazon somehow. <laughs> so we're going to unpackage it, we're going to make it, we're going to try it, and then we're also going to give you updates like how we feel. Here, man. Grab it. Grab it. Oh, it, yeah, it's whole beans. Well, so let's take this sticker. Oh, cool. We have to grind this up first. Can you have the right in? All right, let's open this sucker. Let's get a big old Should whip. we extension cord it over to the table and grind it right here? No, it's too much. Why not? Let's do it. So difficult. I'm not gonna be able to get it. Why did you walk away? Can you just rub me? Okay, first thing you should know is that their bags are impossible to open. Here, there is a warning label. Oh dear. I'm just gonna read it to you. Warning highly caffeinated. It is fair trade and USDA organic. Dark roast and bold flavor. I want you to harness your superpowers. Let your mind and body be superpowered by 100% organic ingredients instead of toxic chemical stimulants. It also says it's a smooth, never bitter taste. Subtle notes of cherry and chocolate. Let's rip this bad boy away. Yeah, well, let's go back to trying to hold it. <laughs> if it's not the strongest coffee, it's, it's the at least strongest the strongest bag. bag. <laughs> Oh, it also does give you recommended ratios. So they recommend using two and a half tablespoons of coffee per six ounces of water. Can you smell it? That kind of smells like dirt. <laughs> it kind of does. I yeah, wouldn't I get say that. that it smells good. It now, smells exactly like like great coffee should smell, but it's kind of worrisome too. No, I, I don't think that. I think it smells like, just sometimes coffee smells like inviting and warm, and this does not invite me in. This makes me literally go like this. <laughs> I'm going to use a French press. I ain't going the French press route. I'm bringing back my <laughs> toast master. You ready? Yes. Let's grind it up. Oh, they look really like oily and slick. Ground coffee. Now choose your mugs. I've chosen this specific mug. It says that there is no strong coffee, just weak men. Either this is going to be the world's strongest coffee or I will be the world's weakest man. And I'm up for the challenge. Why did you choose your mug? Really pretty. Step three. Make, make the, the dang coffee. coffee. Oh, dang coffee. Really big mugs, but we definitely don't plan on filling them up the whole way because we're actually not trying to die despite the name. I do, Death wish. Yeah, I do want to throw out that I am, I would say, sensitive to caffeine. Expecting to just be obliterated by this. You're a little different though. We'll see, like we'll see. And also like we should say that we are pretty tired right now. It's three o'clock in the afternoon. So we're in like that middle day, like hump that you're trying to get over. Tink. Ugh, still smells exactly like it does in the bag. That smells hideous. Yeah. Oh my God. Like actually bad. 
<laughs> Sorry. It might be strong, but it smells bad. And that's the thing about coffee is usually people who don't like coffee admit that they love this smell. It's like the thing that coffee has going for it. It smells good. This yeah, coffee? It kind of smells like a clogged drain. It goes to death wish. Actually, it doesn't taste as bad as I was expecting. It actually kind of tastes like low quality. Low quality? But I guess we're not here for the taste, right? Let me try yours. Actually, yours tastes like there's like there's more of like an oily thing to it. You know? Also, they're different colors. Yours is a darker color than mine. I wonder why that is. It tastes like it has some oils in it where mine does not. Oh, and I wonder oils. if it's because of the difference in the food. Oh, for sure. Hmm. This is the first time I've done a, a live test between a coffee machine versus an actual French press. And uh, so far, it's, it's weird. I can actually see the difference. Like yours does have like a more oily, earthy taste, and mine actually just tastes like dust. Yeah, well, maybe we need to clean the Toastmaster. <laughs> not really good at describing what I'm tasting. I don't know how to tell you guys what this tastes like besides it's just not as bad as I was expecting. Would I recommend this? Uh, I don't actually know. We're gonna find out <laughs> if it's the strongest coffee. Yeah. How well am I gonna sleep tonight? I don't know. I can't tell if I'm getting hot because I'm drinking a hot liquid or like it's working. I, my face is feeling really red. Really? Because I don't look flushed. I don't think so. We'll drink this coffee and then we'll revisit you guys. It's currently 3.07. So at 3.37, we'll come back and let you know how we're feeling. I have this much left. I've been drinking mine slow because I'm not quite sure how powerful it truly is. So I have, I've probably done half my first cup. You know when you first drink coffee in the morning and then you get that it almost feels like that warm, fuzzy excitement for like a couple of minutes. I get a, a hint of that, but I'm, I don't know. That's all I got. World's strongest coffee, you're disappointing me. I feel thirsty, like my tongue feels dry. Um, you probably dehydrated. Well, yeah, we did make sure to eat before drinking this coffee, because again, like the level of acidity, we just weren't sure about. Does it taste different now that it's like cooled down? It doesn't taste better. Does it taste worse? I don't know, I think it's at least consistent in that regard. Consistent, yeah, that's a, that says a lot about a coffee if it tastes the same, cooled down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can I try yours? Mm -hmm. Try yours again. Oh dude, yours tastes way better. Mm -hmm. Mine tastes like cheap, giant Yeah, coffee. I do not like yours. <laughs> so far, normal coffee is stronger and more effective than the world's strongest coffee. And... I just feel like I have really bad coffee breath. Can you? Is it lethal? I just have a thing with breath in general. I, I almost don't even want to test it. Oh, you didn't smell? No, I just let you breathe in my face. All right, we'll see you in an hour. Yeah, 4.45, we will rejoin you guys, let you know how we feel. Hi. It's been, I guess, a total of like an hour and a half since starting drinking coffee. How do you feel? Um, so you know how when you have like bad coffee and you you feel like you could just do a wind sprint but then like 15 minutes later you just feel kind of groggy? I feel like I have pure energy but I'm not hyped up. And I feel like my heart beats a little bit faster right now. But I feel like I'm my not, heart is beating faster. Yeah, I'm def my heart's beating faster but I don't feel like I'm going any faster okay. or I'm any more awake. I did have a spike of energy where I felt like I was talking really fast, I was really excited about things, but now I like the crash is hitting me, I think. I'm getting very spacey. Mm -hmm. I just want to stare off into the distance a lot right now. For this, I think what we have to watch out for is the later game where it's like 10 o'clock and we're trying, we want to go to bed or something, but then we can't, you know what I mean? Yeah. You're going to bed now. You can do that. I want to watch a movie. 
Oh. I'm gonna watch a movie. Back to the vet. And we thought we'd do a little update of how we've been feeling the last couple hours and how we feel right now. I think it's like 10.30 and my, I'm so tired that my, my eyes are about to start watering. I think a couple hours ago I was I was really going back and forth between feeling the caffeine rush and then feeling the crash. We were exciting. I think we were so amped up that like we were just arguing over nonsensical things. Yeah, I felt like I had caffeine aggression. My heart rate increased. I didn't feel any more awake or or alive, but I I felt like I at least had energy to scrap. So yeah, we we were just scrapping. taking pot shots at each other for like a good four hours. Yeah, I feel like I was really impatient. And that maybe that yeah. has to do with the anxiety, like the anxious feeling of caffeine. Because I just have I like know. no patience. Yeah, the, the joke all night has been uh, death wishes ruined our marriage. <laughs> Cause it just, it made me a different person. Well, we have a whole bag of it to finish still. Yeah, it's gonna be a rough week. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's all I got. Thanks for watching our death wish. I'm so tired, I can't even think about it. It's the worst crash I've ever had in coffee. <gasps> Thanks for watching. Good night. <laughs>